in 2002, <laughs> Christina Aguilera cr created a song that touched on the insecurities felt by so many people. Beautiful became a huge hit and pushed back against the superficial images in TV and movies back then. Now it's 2022, and Christina has re-released a song with a new video, showing images of children and teens on their phones being bombarded with messages from social media. The video goes on to show a young girl looking longingly at a diet pill vending machine. Uh-huh, a diet pill vending machine, okay? A teen girl putting on makeup in front of her phone and other kids facing similar situations where their worth is being questioned. 20 years later, the message is more powerful than ever. What are we all talking about? What do you think, Jamal? We're talking about the toxic side of social media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so before we had media, uh, TV representation, magazines. Magazines, That yeah. um, Christina was talking about, I guess, in my era. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're talking about the same thing, but for even younger kids. Yeah. Like, that she put even younger kids in front of, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call those? The ring lights. Mm -hmm. In front of the ring lights with the makeup and the plastic, thinking about plastic surgery. like Thinking about plastic surgery at 14. Like, diet there's pills. no reason. A diet pill diet vending pills. machine. You know, and back again, 20 years ago, we were like, oh, these magazines are tainted our children. Our children mm -hmm. think that they have to look like this, that this is what beauty is. And beauty looks a lot a lot different. Beauty looks however you see beauty. Right. Beauty is in everything. Right. right. You know, but these kids are feeling it less and less. And younger and younger, too, right. Jamal. Like, these kids get a phone at, like, 10 years old. I blame us. I blame the adults. I have to. I have Why, to, I have Why do you to, blame I, the adults? Because we're we're walking representations. We're we're the ones who teach the young ones. We're the ones who show the way. And so when we put unrealic, unrealistic expectations on ourselves, we, they, we just model that for them. Yeah. And, and parents have to step up and do more. Do like more, just like yeah. the, you know, just the average parenting yeah. is fantastic and we thank you. But unfortunately, because of the instant gratification that you get from a freaking phone, yeah. right? Parents need to do more. You know, they need yeah. to have these conversations with their children on an everyday basis of like, you know, um, I, my god sister is awesome. You know, she's got an, an 18 year old and a 14 year old. And the 14 year old still at 14, She's limited access to her phone. You know, it's not something that she has all the time. She does take it to school because, of course, there's emergencies. The world that we live in, things happen, mm -hmm. right? But it's like, okay, you will have family time. You will sit at the table and we will all eat together. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're mad, mm -hmm. you know? And we, um, you want, we want to raise real people, real authentic human beings. But that's not easy. No, it's not easy. Not turn into a... You know, when, well, and when you look at a TikTok video and you see a kid that's like, you know, 16 years old with a million filters and they have a million followers, right? And a kid will look at it and go, man, I don't, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not good enough. I don't look like this. Mm -hmm. So there's something wrong. The comparison. And we're constantly comparing ourselves. Throw yeah. into it, throw, and then throw LGBT on top. Shit show. Yeah. <laughs> Shit yeah. show, you know? And, and it kind of also like makes me sad that. We haven't gotten, we're worse 20 years later. Like, Christina did this video 20 years ago, and I was like, wow, you're right. So oh much of the we're struggle. We're going to get so much better. The we're going to get so much. We have to do better. We have not done better. <laughs> we have, we done have not way done better. Worse. We have not been done better. Damn. And that's accountability, right? And that's accountability. We're, soci we're society who the, the, the shuns accountability, that yeah. runs away from accountability. Yeah, no. And, and and just like you said, it's our fault too. You know, I was at a yeah. table the other day where all of us were on her, our phones. We weren't even talking to each other. And I like took a minute and I was like, ah, like I actually love you people. Let's all put our phones down and let's talk for a second. You know? My friend groups, I actually uh, um, respect them for that because anytime we'll see that, we'll be like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, yeah. flip them over. We are here. And Anything that, that any message that came through can wait. And we've got like this, this anxiety. Like it'll happen that I'll hear my phone from across the room and I know it's my ringtone because I'm not going to tell you my ringtone is embarrassing. But anyway, I hear it and I'm like, oh, I got to go check it. I got to go check it. Yeah. I'm not going to fix anything by going over there and answering right now. Right. But I feel like palpitations. I start That's getting sweaty. That's a trigger, right? I mean, it is. I was thinking about that the other day driving. I was like, my phone rang and I was like, you don't have to answer that. You know that, right? <laughs> you can get to your destination and answer the phone. You know, you and people don't. get mad at it. And people will call you like three or four times. Text me, what bitch. You, you don't know. know. I'm, I'm busy. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. <laughs> 
So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.